on and get on down to the city, the city. where the trains all clatter through. Choo-choo. Hey, look at that driver driver. I wanna ride that train on blue. Me too. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. busy working. I wanna see what they all do. Come on, let's we round the market. Until you hear that hullabaloo. Everybody's busy selling. I wanna buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons perch and coo. Take a taxi ride through the river. I wanna drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. Let me ting that bell to the loo. Gonna ride on round to the school stop Where the children hurry through Sit down, the teacher's teaching I'd love to learn a thing or two Me too I love to skip and river sheeping Go river sheeping, go by the sea I love to skip and river sheeping Go river sheeping, go that's for me Come on and get on down to the city Where the fairy box stands the blue Time to call on Granny Murray Ducky saves the day. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. Okay, goodbye. Whew, rough stop the leak. It didn't work. The water's headed for the comic books. To make the water flow in a different direction, we have to put something in its way. Oh, how about this bookend? And this stapler. Let's try it. And hurry. The comic books are depending on us. It's working. We saved them! Uh-oh. Another leak! Can you help us? Help us fix Janitor Rob's watery mess! Tap here to get started. How can we use objects as tools to move the water where we want it to go? I sketched an idea! Gravity pulls water down. We can change the direction water flows by putting tools into the water's path. That'll stop it from flowing straight down. Can you save the comic books from getting wet? Try to move the water out of the window using the tools. Get the water to spin all the stars. That will unlock new pool toys. Use the arrow buttons to turn the tools. Nice engineering. You got all three stars. You unlocked a new pool toy. When you go to the hamster pool party, it will be there waiting. Tap here to try the level again a different way. Or tap here to go to the next level. Tap the toy to play with it in the pool party. Welcome to the pool party. What do you want to play with? When you get all three stars, you unlock new toys to play with here. Game 
like an engineer. to move the water in the direction you want it to go. The dotted lines show one way to do it. Try it out. Find the tool that matches the dotted lines?
of it. Now there's a bucket too. Try to move the water into both the window and the bucket. I'll help with this week. Can you solve the other one? Great thinking. Awesome thinking. More water? a tool to the dotted lines. They say you learn from failure, right? Well, <clears throat> let's just say I've been doing a lot of learning. Behold, the rough meal with its 50 pounds of packaging. <clears throat> Sorry, environment. Rough ball, fun for a whole six seconds. And smell -o vision which was a bit too, how shall we say, skunky. But the past is past, and the future is my, my can't-fail moneymaker. Meat and fruit smoothies, yay! Yes, we are going to sell a boatload of smoothies, and not one of those tiny squeaky toy boats. I'm talking a huge ocean liner of smoothies. Anyway, your job is to take this blender, these two meats, and these two fruits, and let me know how many different smoothie combos we can make using one meat and one fruit. Ready? Let's go. Okay, drag one meat and one fruit to the blender, then click the blender button to smoothify. Um, uh, maybe you should use the lid. Try again. Hey, knock it off! I just had to fetch 3,000 dry clean! Ham and pineapple. Mmm! And do I detect a hint of ham? So there's a combo. Ham, pineapple. Let's make more smooth ham and strawberry. Ham, strawberry. Yummy! Hamburger, pineapple. <laughs> Hamburger, pineapple. All right. Hamburger, strawberry. <laughs> you did it! You made all the combos! Yes! So that's one, two, three, four combos. Great! Ah, uh, I can see it now. Rough Ruffman's Lip Smackin' Smoothies. Four fabulous combos. That is a great name for... Yellow. Hey, Helga. What? You're already using the phrase four fabulous combos for your own line of makeup, so I can't use it? But, but, okay, <laughs> nothing to worry about. Maybe if we add another fruit, that'll make more combos. 
So I say to you, my friend, choose a fruit! Uh Watermelon! The best giant fruit ever! Back to the blender! Okay, so now we have two meats and three fruits. Uh, could you help me out again? See how many different smoothie combos we can make now using one meat and one fruit. Oh, now you're just being stubborn. Use the lid! Oddly enough, it's really more sticky than smooth. Use that lid! Yeah, you know, I just had a bath. Use the lid. Do you know how hard it is to get smoothie out of fur? Please cover the blender. Hey, knock it off! I just had to fetch 3,000 dry clean! Hamburger, strawberry. Fascinating strawberry overtones. So there's a combo. Hamburger, strawberry. Let's make more smoothies. Hamburger, pineapple. <laughs> Hamburger, pineapple. All right. Hamburger and watermelon. <laughs> Hamburger, watermelon. Yummy. Ham and strawberry. <laughs> Ham, strawberry. Known henceforth as hamberry. Ham and pineapple. <laughs> Ham pineapple. Cool. Ham and watermelon. <laughs> Great smoothing. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Oh, wait, no, I counted that one already. Uh, uh, one, two. Ah, this is such a mess. There's got to be a better way to do this. Hey, Blossom, down in front, please. We're looking for a better way to keep track of the combos. What's that, Blossom? There is a better way? All right, so you shove everything aside. Oh, you draw a grid with the meats on the side and the fruits at the top. Oh, wait a minute. Then you put each combo in the square that matches with that meat and that fruit. Oh, it's so neat and organized. Blossom, you're brilliant. And that's one. Two, three, four, five, six combos! That's even better than four! Ah, I can see it now. Rough Ruffman's Lip Smackin' Smoothies. Six sensational combos. That is a great name for it. Yellow. Oh, hey, Bluff. What? You're already using the phrase six sensational combos for your line of frozen pizzas, so I can't use it? But, but, okay. <laughs> Just another little snag. <laughs> well, if adding an extra fruit made more combos, then adding another meat should make even more. Right? Choose a meat! Sausage! Nature's candy. Okay, so three meats and three fruits should get us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine combos! Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if that's right. Test away, my smoothie friend. <laughs> Oh, now you're just being stubborn. Use the lid. <laughs> Oddly enough, it's really more sticky than smooth. Use that lid. <laughs> you know, I just had a bath. Use the lid. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to get smoothie out of fur? Please cover the blender. <laughs> hey, knock it off. I just had to fetch 3,000 dry clean. Hamburger. Ah, uh, meat by itself is just meat juice. We're making smoothies. Add a fruit. Pineapple. Hello. You forgot the most important ingredient. Add a meat. Hamburger and ham. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but that's too much meat. You need one meat and one fruit for balance. Pineapple, watermelon. No meat at all? Really? Uh, have you never been a dog? You need one meat and one fruit for the perfect smoothie. Oh, now you're just being stubborn. Use the lid. Oddly enough, it's really more sticky than smooth. Use that lid. You know, I just had a bath. Use the lid. Do you know how hard it is to get smoothie out of fur? 
Please cover the blender. Hey, knock it off. I just had to fetch 3,000 dry clean. Sausage and strawberry. Fascinating strawberry overtones. So there's a combo. Sausage, strawberry. Let's make more smoothies. Saw pineapple. <laughs> Sausage, pineapple. Better known as pine sausage. Sausage, watermelon. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. Oh, uh, but you know I don't. I don't want to get stuck with all this fruit. So where we're we gonna keep it? Hamburger, strawberry. <laughs> Hamburger strawberry. All right. Ham pineapple. <laughs> Hamburger pineapple. Known from now on as ham pine purple. <laughs> Hamburger watermelon. <laughs> Hamburger watermelon. Love it. <laughs> ham strawberry. <laughs> ham strawberry. <laughs> ham pineapple. <laughs> Ham pineapple. Yummy. Ham watermelon. Awesome. We were right. Nine combos. Ah, I can see it now. Rough Ruffman's lip smacking smoothies. Nine nifty combos. And I've turned off my ringer so no one can call me. So now I can safely say without interruption, that is a great name for... Uh, Chet, kind of busy here, buddy. What's this? Dear Mr. Ruffman, I am using the phrase nine nifty combos for my new snack treat, Chet's Marvelous Mouse Munchies, so you can't use it. Love, Chet. Ah! Must everyone around here have his own product line? Okay, I didn't want to do this, but they have left me no choice. This is all I got. One more meat and two more fruits. I bet that'll make like a gajillion combos. Hey, wait! We can figure out the real number. Four meats on the side, five fruits at the top. Now draw the lines. So that should be... 20 combos, or as I call them, the Tasty 20. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of smoothification. So stand back. I'll take it from here. Twenty. Hey, we were right. Four meats and five fruits gets us twenty combos. So, not only is Rough Ruffman's lip smack and smoothies twenty tasty combos the awesomest name, but more importantly, no one else is using the phrase twenty tasty combos. So it's all mine. But I need your help with one last thing. Create the perfect label for my smoothies. Tasty combos, including ham pineapple, apple, ham banana, uh, uh, bacon pineapple, ah, sausage, watermelon, sausage, strawberry. 